is that there is still a huge amount that we do not yet know about the variant. The number of mutations that it has and the nature of these and some of the very early indications from southern Africa have raised the concern that this variant might be more transmissible than Delta, which of course is currently the dominant variant in Scotland and many other countries. However, much more data and analysis is required to be certain of this and if it is more transmissible to understand by how much. Further work is also needed to confirm what impact this variant might have on the effectiveness of vaccines and the risk of reinfection. The WHO said yesterday that preliminary evidence suggests there might be an increased risk of reinfection, but stressed that information at this stage is still limited. It also said that there is currently no information to suggest that the symptoms for, from Omicron are any different to the symptoms from other variants. In other words, although again more data is still required, there is no evidence at this stage to suggest that the disease caused by Omicron is more severe.